Hey, what's up guys? Worldwide here tonight with another new video. And tonight's video is just going to be kind of quick. I have like five news topics to talk about. So let's just jump right into it. All right, for the first story, I hate to bring up something negative because today was such an awesome day of darts. One of my favorite tournaments of the year, the Grand Slam of darts, PDC versus BDO. You know, just such a great tournament. But let's take a quick look at this clip. 11, 9, 14, 12, 5, 20. Wait, what? 9, 14. So what the hell? In a way, this is kind of funny that they messed up the numbers. In another way, it's the PDC. It's supposed to be a professional, professional darts corporation. Just what the hell? I mean, I would have loved to have been sitting in the meeting with Unicorn that day. Like, who came up with this idea? And how did it make it to production? Detachable numbers? Like, seriously, who came up with this idea? Because it's right up there with one of the worst innovations ever, in my opinion. You know, it's just going to lead to mistakes. If you allow for the opportunity for mistakes to be made, they're going to happen. And look at this. You got the 9 and 14 switch like what the hell really and you know there's been other videos where i think there's been a missing six there's been other missing numbers or they've been in the wrong spot numbers fall off so it's just such a bad idea but anyway i think unicorn needs to really get on that and just ditch this whole entire idea with the detachable numbers but again that's just my opinion let me know what you guys think and staying with the PDC, I don't really want to talk about it too much today because I know there's probably a few of you out there that haven't watched the matches yet. But for me, this was the best match of the day. Adrian Lewis versus Scott Mitchell. And you can catch it over on Theo's channel. And while you're there, why is my mouse not working? While you're there, don't forget to smash the thumbs up for him. But yeah, awesome match. Uh, my favorite of the day. And as far as performance wise, it was the second best performance of the day. But definitely my favorite match. And actually the interview of the winner afterwards was just as good as my, in my opinion. So so make sure you check that one out. In case you guys missed it today, you can check out Theo over on YouTube. He has all the matches uploaded and the highlights for me today. Make sure you watch Barney's match and like I said earlier, Jackpot and Scotty Mitchell. Definitely do not miss those two matches. And there was a couple of other good matches in there too. Um, big surprise there with a Mensa Sulevich. But yeah, head over to Theo's channel in case you guys missed anything or if you want to watch replays. Okay, for the next news story, we're going to head over to the United States at the 2016 Seacoast Open. Now that takes place in New Hampshire. And we're going to scroll down here a little bit. This is the first time that I've seen this ever in the United States. Now, I've been keeping a pretty close eye on this Dark Connect website, and it shows all the stats from all the tournaments. Let's have a look here. Check this out. Dave Cameron from Canada versus Chris Lim. It was a best of nine. It went to a decider, but look at that. Almost 103 average versus a 98 average. That's the first time from anyone, whether he's from Canada or the United States, that I've seen the 100 average broken. So that's just incredible. I mean, I think the uh, standard is raising all the time time these guys are starting to play more 501 and they're just getting better plain and simple these guys are getting better but look at this game 13 darter 14 darter 11 darter here look at that from chris Lim. 141 80 140 took out the 41 massive look at that 12 darter to back it up another 15 darter just top quality darts here that's definitely professional level there 103 average wow but yeah well done to dave cameron and check this out this was let me go back a couple here that was the semifinals that I just showed you. Then he went into the finals to play Leonard Gates and just steamrolled them 6-1. to one. So he continued that awesome form into the finals. Wasn't as good average as previous, but I mean still, 88.5 average. That's some pretty serious high-quality darts. But well done to Dave Cameron for winning the men's singles 501 Seacoast Open. For the next clip that I'm about to show you guys, I'd like to thank X-Pro Promotions. They're a sporting promotion company out of the UK. So I'm going to have the link to their channel or to their website here. And they also have a YouTube channel that you guys can check out i think there's only the original video on it that i'm about to show you but yeah i'd like to thank those guys make sure to check them out and this is just such an amazing trick shot i don't know how wayne mardell does it but i don't know how he hits anything doing this it's just uh, it's pretty amazing so check this out guys this is the last time yeah last okay, time, last time wayne, you but i'm gonna go for double 10 this time which means you didn't get the last one <laughs> i didn't say i did did i all right ready all right <laughs> I don't know the post. <laughs> Okay, for the last news story, I figured we could all use a good laugh. Well, that picture is actually kind of funny too, but this is pretty amazing. And I don't recommend doing this, but it did make it to the front page over on Reddit. So let's have a quick look. Something like 1.2 million views. <laughs> yeah. 
One more time. Ah, oh, that's got to hurt, right? But look at that. Two days ago, and it's already got 1.1 million, almost 1.2 million views. Unreal. So even though it's not the best darting video to uh, upload and watch, it is kind of funny. So, But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll catch you on the next one. I got a really good video coming up in the next couple days. It's going to be another top five thing. So keep an eye out for that, and we'll see you later, guys.